thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Locke Booktician or Brie, whatever you prefer. And I want to get into annotating books. I know, I know. What the hell am I thinking? This is what I'm thinking. If I'm going to spend money, <laughs> you know, if I'm going to spend money on books, if my friends are going to spend money on gifting me books, then I own those books. Why not write into those books? I feel like there is some taboo in my mind about writing in a book that is not for like a textbook or something for some psychology class or something I'm taking. Like I will highlight, scribble, make a chart, all type of stuff in books that I use for educational purposes. But when I'm reading for leisure, I feel like they need to be the most pristine things in the world. So, as you can see from the title, I'm going to annotate. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I put my face in front of it. Oh, we have a winner. The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Carr. Also, Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. I love these books. I got both of these books while living in Ukraine. And I got them by my my beautiful friend Leah sent them to me and I did not write in them but I was like whoo take me to the ball game I reading milk and honey I read that first of course it came out first and going through the book and being like the loving you know the breaking the healing it's the way she sectioned off milk and honey I was like wow I'm not gonna lie, I usually don't get really emotional over books. I might feel emotional, but just leave it at that. But this book took me a long time to read because I had to sit in my thoughts and reflect about her words. So I am going to reread Milk and Honey and I'm going to write my thoughts or how I was feeling and do a reflection video off of this video. Sun and Her Flowers, I felt like it was just a dedication to me and my friends and some ex-lovers and my life, my relationship with my parents. It was just a lot how, like womanhood, how it is to just be. I felt so many emotions reading this book. It's a couple poems that like really, really touch me for example loving you was breathing but that breath disappearing before it filled my lungs when it goes too soon i feel that we've all liked somebody right and they hit you with the and you're like damn you know so huh it's hard it's hard it's hard out here dating as a millennial it's hard out here dating in 2019 when tinder grinder hinder finder binder liner iner is all these apps all of these apps are out and ready. This person, you know, sending you an unsolicited pic. This person sending you an unsolicited pic. And you're like, really didn't ask for this. So, what's the situation? That was definitely a tangent. I can't wait to reread these books and then tell you how and why I annotated certain sections of this book. Thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I try to keep the video short. Sometimes I'm just like all over the place. But whatever. I'm going to live my best life. You're going to live your best life. It's going to be fine. However, please don't forget to hit that. I think it's a notification. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends. And just share it or talk about it. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my short video. Have a wonderful afternoon and thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.